free takes I do for YouTube. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about university and things that no one tells you when you're coming to university. Like, yeah, university is fun and you get to do a bunch of stuff. You get to do stuff that are not within your comfort zone and it's a time of exploration and experiences and opportunities. But there's also a lot of stuff that people don't tell you about university until you've experienced it and then you're like, oh. Obviously, this list is in no particular order and it may not relate to everyone, but some of it may be relatable, some of it. Wait, let's get this video to 20 likes. I know we can do it. All you have to do is just donate me your times and I will really appreciate it. Um, I'll, I'll be happy if you can also comment on this video. And yeah. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos once we hit 500 subscribers i will probably do a giveaway so subscribe if you haven't already and let's get on with the video first thing no one tells you about university is that first year actually counts yeah when it comes to the final results it doesn't it's not really that important but first year is just as important as second year because you need to pass first year in order to go to second year so you don't have this meant when I came to you I had this mentality that first year doesn't count oh you don't need to do much you don't need to do well you just do first year good second year and that's when the real university workload and everything starts no that's not the case first year counts because you have to pass first year before you can move on to second year you need 40 percent to move on to second year number two <laughs> this is an interesting one because I don't know if everyone can relate to it, but there are times where you find yourself alone in your room, feeling lonely. Like, I think I've gone three days without speaking or seeing anyone. Actually, no, that's a lie. I've gone three days, but I went to like my lectures and everyone. But after that, I just stayed in my room three days in a row without talking much to anyone besides my housemate. But the there were a few times where I just felt really lonely and if I even we, we kind of spoke about it briefly in my university experience video with my two friends and we did speak about it like in the loneliness you do find yourself but it's still like it's not a bad thing if you get what I mean because you get to think and just have a little bit of space to yourself and your room is the best place to find that so yeah <laughs> Number three, this is a good one because I never ever ever knew that this was possible. When I was coming to university I thought, you know what, I have to make sure I choose the right course because once I commit to that course and choose it and send my application, there is no going back. There is no way I can ever change my course. That was a lie. It's okay to change your course at university. If you come here and you do, let's say, sociology and you find out that you don't like it, you can change it like it's not by force to study something that you don't want to do and so many people stick with their course because they think that you can't change it but you can and it's okay to change through university you find like yeah, the plans that you had and like the career goals that you had and the stuff you had your mindset up to are subject to change it's not always that straightforward um another thing that no one <laughs> told me about university is that deadlines are real may if you have deadline on the 1st of august and so if you have it on the 12th of august and you don't commit to it boy you're in trouble because the, those deadlines are there for a reason and who are you to not submit your work when the deadlines up yeah you can get a week extra if you're like ill or let's say your family member passed away and stuff like that but you need to provide evidence number five rice and noodles and other types of food literally becomes your best friend these are the food that you, if you know how to cook one specific food and you're one of those people who are lazy to cook and you just then one food is going to become your best friend and you're just going to find yourself going back and eating those food over and over and over again and it's just so funny because like my friends like rice and stew of chicken at the side or indomie noodles number six flip-flops is important like our shower is just like a low box 
and every like my house there were six of us and all of us going there to shower so there is no way I'm putting my feet in the shower without flip-flops number seven stay on top of things and just be organized organizing yourself is really 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 important when you're dead the, and this I can say this links to like the deadline points when you you have a deadline and your stuff is all over the place and you're not organized and you don't know where this is and you don't know where that is you know where I'm going with this just be organized because it's the best thing that you can do for yourself and when you're studying when your room is organized you're more likely to learn when your room is disorganized it makes you feel lazy it makes you feel like you don't want to do anything to learn it so this one is a funny one number eight argument happens I mean think about it you are leaving with people you're leaving with practically strangers at the first time anyway and you all meet and there are six of you different personalities different upbringings different mindset or stuff and it's hard like it's quite it's really hard because some of them are gonna be dirty some of them are gonna cook and literally leave their bowl and their plates for like a month and you just have to leave with it so when argument happens it's okay to literally go and confront them and be like you know what this, this is what you did and i really hate it can you please not do it again and then most of the time they're gonna do it again but it's it's kind of like having a relationship with them and being comfortable enough to tell them my housemates we all go along so every day i was on their case really because we they had a go at me i had a go at them and we, yeah we just laugh about it and can you enter that's happening and it's okay for them to happen like on here i wrote if something doesn't make you happy you change it and i said this is not secondary school this is not secondary school you see them one day and then you have saturday and sunday off and then you come back on monday we'll see them every day till friday this you're living with them for like 10 months and, oh this is good this is good to build a relationship with like your seminar leaders because listen at the end of the day yeah they are marking your your work your seminar leaders are the one who mark your, your lecturers they don't mark your work when you write an essay it's not your lecturers who mark it. it's your seminar leaders having a relationship with them where you can just like speak to them when stuff is bothering you when you don't understand something you get what your seminar leader wants and you can speak to them then at least you know what you're doing do you get what i mean fam <laughs> okay um number 10 seminar is important than lectures yeah lectures is important but seminar uh, in my opinion is more important because you get the information that you feel like from the lectures you go into it further do you get what i mean probably not but i'm just gonna leave it there <laughs> number 12 i think laundry is for real no one tells you that you gotta have to pay for your laundry and you have to pay for drying and you have to do that. Laundry at university is very, very, very different from laundry at home. But you're paying for it. And I think including drying and washing, it comes to about six pounds overall. And to some people that may not be a lot, but it's actually a lot because you can't wash your white and your black and your color stuff together. And when you actually think about dividing them up and then washing them separately, that's like good 16 pounds, 18 pounds gone, do you get what I mean? So what I did was I, I did laundry with my friends, so we all put our black stuff together. Well, me and one of my friends, we put our black stuff together, put our white stuff together, put our colour stuff together, and then we wash them. And then we share the money. That way you save money. But this is one that <laughs> When like I was coming, everyone was like, "Oh, you're in, you're in university, you just get a lot of independence, and your your teachers don't care, and you can do whatever you want." But listen, the thing is, yeah, at the end of the day, they do care because they are there to teach you. And if we do crap, if like imagine everyone in like your class do crap, that looks bad in the university because your results do show something about you, the university and their style of teaching. But the difference is you have to take the initiative to meet with your leaders book an appointment with them and go and see them number 14 <laughs> okay <sighs> this actually i got told but i'm pretty sure some people don't get told um 
sleep is pretty much impossible sometimes depending on which area of accommodation you have I lived in Parkwood I go to University of Kent and I lived in Parkwood Parkwood is like a party place okay so everyone is like partying and my nest my house no my house my next door neighbors were really loud they had party literally like almost every night and where they meet is literally like the back of my window which means that I can't sleep and I can hear them talking and making noise and playing music and smoking and it just smells so crap and I'm like I'm trying to sleep like 2 a.m. 3 a.m. and these people are having conversation and laughing so loud and drinking and I'm like are you kidding me I need to sleep I have a I have a lecture at 9 a.m. and I'm here trying to sleep like sleep is pretty much impossible and if you have l loud housemates if you have if people are always at your house good luck <laughs> this one is a good one and I think this is the 15 16 I kind of lost count basically at university you have study hubs and you can go there to do like studies and meet with your group if you have group works and study with your friends but this is the thing, study half is not only for studying, okay? Well, it's pretty much only for studying, but university students, to us, it's not for studying. It's time for entertainment and it's time for socializing. Like, me and my friends, we pretty much lived in like study halves, like the study common rooms and stuff like that. When we have all nighters, we are there from 6 to 12 pm, noon, 12 noon, not pm, you know, 12 noon. And we are there for like a good 12 hours. Do you think we're going to be studying all the time? It's time for modeling, it's time for jokes, it's time for discussions, it's time to talk about boys, it's time to talk about stuff that's going on. And it's just so fun. Like, you need to know it's not all about work and studying. It's time for you to socialize and meet people. And it's like, it's kind of how the outside world works and know your priorities and have like, make things happen. Do you get what I mean? And I think I pretty much said everything. And but yeah, like these are stuff that that no one told me happens at university or college or whatever you refer in America. It's college or in the UK. It's university. Uni is very, 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 very different from secondary school. But it's not that different from the outside world. And that's something you have to know. It's there are a lot of similarities in it. You make friends, you make acquaintances, and you just have to know. Some of them are going to become acquaintances and some of them you're not even going to speak again. Some of them are outside of you and you don't even know them. Like, do you get what I mean? Thanks for watching this video so much. I hope you liked it. I hope you've subscribed to my channel for more videos. If there are videos that you want me to do, remember to leave in the comment section below. And um, let's get this video to 20 likes and probably like 5 to 6 comments or more. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, you guys have been really amazing for sticking with me and i just want to say thank you so subscribe and we shall make more videos together thank you so much for watching bye